Today I'm reacting to your watches posted on the Pride and Pinion subreddit. And I'm reacting to John Mayer's release of a watch, which is historically funny. Does that make sense? No? Funny? It's funny. I don't know if it's funny, but I find it funny. I find it maybe entertaining. Maybe I'm confused with the word entertaining and funny. Ah, we'll see about that later. Anyway, we're nearly at 100,000 members on the Pride and Pinion subreddit. So join the subreddit now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, prideandpinion.com. Let's get stuck in the Reddit. My father gave it to me to celebrate me becoming an... Yes. What the f*** is that? Ophthalmo ophthalmo <laughs> ophthalmologists are doctors who care for patients with eye conditions. Oh, that's why I need such a large watch, because the watch is a wee bit too big for his tiny wrists. But congratulations, Hicknicklot. That is a belter of a watch. This is the Omega Speedmaster Professional, and this is, I think, the version with the plexiglass. I see that rightly. But it's a nice watch. Historically very important watch. Cool watch. I mean, Omega has milked the bollocks out of it, but... Still cool watch. Duality of man. Man, f*** Hublo and those misaligned screws. Oh my god, that's class. <laughs> I like that. One of the reasons why I hate Hublo is as well the laziness of the misaligned screws. If you look at, for example, the Royal Oak, they're always aligned. They're always perfect. That's different with Hublo. But also different with Cartier, and no one is talking about that with Cartier, so I like that. So you see, misaligned. You see this? This is a screw. Let me zoom in here. Here? Here, here, here. They're misaligned, right? We've look at that, at the Cartier Saltos. They're misaligned as well. But we effectively only complain about it when it's regarding a Hublot. That has several other reasons as well. Like Hublot is just ostentatiously sh None of this quite funny. Hublot store let me try the 750k piece as a student. Because it's not 750k, mate. It's worth f all and they can't get it sold. That's why they try f poor students. But even them, they don't want to buy it. Hello, found this in a luggage. I got at an auction. What? What's going on here? You want luggage and find a Rolex? I don't know. But he also says he got it at an auction. So he bought luggage at an auction? Did he? And then a Rolex was inside? I don't believe that. Don't believe that for a second. Look at Nico's face! <laughs> Where did they get that photo from? Because this looks actually so real, it's insane. That is a belter, bro. Let me see, watch collecting Harry Barnes 980. There's a lot of homage watches there. There's a Tissot there, an older Tech Heuer here. There's a Swatch here, there's a Moon Swatch. There's another Moon Swatch. These are Swatch, it's a good start, you know, it's a good start. For sure, well done. Celebrities when they see themselves on a Nico Leonard, Nico Exposed video. <laughs> That's Ricky. That's fake Ross. Isn't it funny as well though, when they're literally kicking them when they're down, all this Diddy stuff going on. Yeah, but Diddy, Diddy is arrested because of our video. So we posted a video, an hour later, Diddy's house got raided. That's insane. Just hot. <laughs> Would you marry her, mate? <laughs> if you look like me, you, you, you're not really that f selective. Like I like this meme. To be fair, the fluted versus the round bezel. <laughs> <laughs> you like good memes. <laughs> the one above is brilliant. Beer just. <laughs> <laughs> would you marry her? <laughs> right, I would. I mean, of course I would. It has a hole, so you f go for it, right? <laughs> Uh, I love a hole, but I like some, someone with two holes. <laughs> I like someone with two holes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It just reminded me of something. What? I discussed the other day. It was the Joe Rogan podcast. It was, I think it was Joe Rogan with someone, Joe, Joe, whatever the f your name is, about gay saunas. There's in LA, there's this sauna. Gay <laughs> saunas? Yeah, man, nah, they're not, they're not advertising gay saunas. Yeah. But they're like... You go in and have sex? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> there's jizz everywhere. <laughs> I just heard that, I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> because men are less complicated than women. And they're just writing. You wanna write? You wanna write? <laughs> yeah. The guy had probably come from, from a freaky spot and was trying to get his yeah. up in there. And I walked out and all, so all I heard was a couple thrumps. <laughs> and then I saw the sauna door open and a homie went flying out like one of those crackheads. <laughs> 
Eddie Bravo and I used to work out at uh, 24 Hour Fitness, and one of the managers, they just brought him over from the West Hollywood place. He's like, it's basically a gay pickup spot. That's all it is. The 24 Hour Fitness. Yeah. Back in the day, in when Eddie and I were working out, together, this is like 2001, 2002, this manager was like, dude, it's crazy. He goes, there's just jizz all over the sauna. You go in the sauna, you got to hose it down. There's just loads everywhere. These guys are just f***ing each other everywhere. They find places to f***. And they would go there to look for other buff guys to f It's just two guys, you want to f I want to f let's f fuck. And they're, they're all jacked up, right? So they're, they're probably doing testosterone. Or they're I don't know why the f I came up to that, but I thought about that all of a sudden. Common Nico moment, her. Probably thinking about other women. Nico, reference number 124060. Listen. Is that, that a real reference number? Yeah, it's a real, it's a no date so manner. 41 millimeter road, no date so manner. I think about a lot of reference numbers, right? At night, no date sub, not really. But I get your point. I appreciate that. I like that. What would you be thinking about? 228348 for sure. 6263, 6264, 6262 maybe as well. 14K. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Very good, very good. Bought my first Automy! Right, well done, 15500, congratulations. Beautiful watch. Watches are for telling the time. Watches are really made for? What? I don't get it. Kids first watch. I want my first watch. Uh, blow? <laughs> I'll chop your f head off, you c Yeah. The real G play no games. Rich forever. Nico Tear. When you don't have to wear fake watches anymore. <laughs> That's a belter. What do we think about the new moon swatch? Can you imagine that the biggest thing that the Swatch Group has done. I'm not talking about the brand Swatch, I'm talking about the Swatch Group, the group as a whole, with, that owns all the brands like Omega, like Blampa, like Breguet. The biggest thing and the most profitable thing that this group of luxury watch manufacturers has done is making a $300 piece of plastic. I think we just witnessed the death of the Swatch Group, not of the Swatch Watch brand, because that's a really, really good one, but we've just witnessed the death of the Swatch Watch Group. Even this is the bigger than anything Omega has done themselves. Like, that's how pathetic this is. A white plastic watch. What does everything think about the new John Mayer a AP collaboration? I think he means everyone. Do you know the historic importance of white gold and AP, Royal Oak? I don't. People actually think that the first Royal Oak was made in steel, which effectively the production model was. The A serials 5402s were all made in steel. The only thing is the prototype of the Royal Oak, the one before the production model, the OG Royal Oak, was actually made in white gold. There were four prototypes of those. I don't know where the f they are actually. Four of, four of them, four yeah. Them? Oh, four of them. F off. Another fact is, do you know that the Royal Oak was actually not named the Royal Oak? I didn't. AP was experimenting with a name and it was either going to be called Safari or Co Colorado or something. Luckily, AP called it the Royal Oak in the end. This is John May on the right. He collaborated with Audemars Piquet to bring out his perfect version of the Royal Oak. This is not a one-off. He's going to do this more and more often in the future. Basically going to be an advisor for Audemars Piquet, which is interesting because John Mayer is a big collector of watches as well. But this is effectively the only watch you can call the John Mayer. You can't call the Green Dial Daytona the John Mayer anymore because this is the actual John Mayer. John Mayer has nothing to do with the Green Dial. Yellow Gold Daytona, the 116508. He has everything to do with this. But if John Mayer knew that the OG, the first Royal Oak was made in white gold. I really, really like that hint towards the history of the Royal Oak, but I do think he didn't know, and it was just pure coincidence, but whatever. I do really like the use of white gold. I think it's a really nice type of metal. I really f like the watch. I love that dial. The texture on the dial is spectacular. What is the texture? Don't know how you call that, no. Is it meant to look like something? Maybe a crater of your f mom's ass? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a perpetual calendar. It's a calendar that is accurate to the year 2100. It's a mechanical watch, a mechanical movement. It can tell you the day, the date, the month, the year, and the position of the moon, the moon phase. As well, it can tell you if it's a leap year, yes or no. And this is why this watch is only accurate to the year 2100. Because the year 2100 is actually a leap year, but we don't count it as a leap year. So mechanically, that's really difficult, if you know what I mean. 
brain. So that's what this complication is. It's one of my favorite complications above anything else, but the fact it's executed in white gold, I really appreciate that. And it's gonna be an unobtainable, ridiculously expensive watch. Have they said how much it's gonna cost and how many? I don't know how much it's gonna cost. I think it's gonna be limited to 100 or 200 pieces. I don't know at the top of my head. I'm just waiting for, for the moment Ed Sheeran will have one. Like it will be very soon. So John Mayer is gonna be here in three days in Ireland, playing in Dublin. My dream is to make a video with John Mayer, but I'm f***ing in Miami, so I can't make a video with him in Dublin. So John, I hope you will receive this message. And, and, and if you guys could send this to John, that would be very much appreciated. I would genuinely love to do a video together with you. I'll come to you, it doesn't matter, even if it's for 30 minutes, I would love to talk watches with you. Would that not be insane?